Yo! What's going on, guys? Right away here, and welcome back to the channel. For watching, make sure to go down below and drop a quick like in the next five seconds for some good luck. As y'all can see, we are back here on Black Ops Cold War. Today, man, we are going to be starting the Road to Dark Ether. As you guys know, we had the Road to Dark Matter Ultra series on the channel. We finished it. My girlfriend unlocked this camo, and this is like the mastery camo of multiplayer. But a lot of you guys wanted me to grind the zombie camos to to unlock Dark Ether. And dark Ether is literally the OG Dark Matter in like Black Ops 3 and the final Dark Matter camo you get in Black Ops 4. Of course, guys, before jumping into Road to Dark Ether, if you guys are purchasing anything in the Black Ops Cold War or Warzone shop, make sure to use my support a creator code. It's just RAID, R-A-I-D. As many of you guys know here on the channel, um, I don't play a lot of zombies. I'm gonna do the Road to Dark Ether series a little bit different though. Road to Dark Matter Ultra, I uploaded an episode on each individual gun. But in Road to Dark Ether, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to upload one episode on each category of weapon. I have the XM4 done. I have the AK-47 done, the Krieg 6 done, the QBZ-83 done, and the last assault rifle we need to get, you know, Golden Viper on to unlock Plague Diamond is the FFAR. Last challenge I need to do is just kill two more special or elite uh, zombies. So that should be pretty easy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new and if you guys are excited for Road to Dark Ether. And with all that being said, let's jump into to today's video. All right, man, so we're in some zombies. I gotta turn on the power, though. I think the first thing is uh, talk to this guy right here. Now, like I mentioned, guys, I haven't played a lot of zombies in my time. My first time ever playing zombies was on Kino Dertone in Black Ops 1. That was my first ever Call of Duty game. That is definitely my favorite zombies map just because of, like, nostalgia, really, and also it was really good in Black Ops 3 with, like, Zombies Chronicles. Yeah, I don't really, you know, have a lot of time played on zombies. Like, I haven't done a lot of the Easter egg. I haven't really even played a lot of zombies in, in Black Ops Cold War either. All right, we're gonna kill you. I think we have enough to buy this door, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, let me know in the comments section if you guys are, like, a huge zombies fan. It is pretty cool that they have, like, zombies camos, though, in Black Ops Cold War. I want the zombies people to have a lot of content, you know, in Call of Duty games. Even though I don't play a lot of zombies, I still want you guys to have a lot of content because you guys are a huge part of this game and this community. I've only uploaded, like, probably a handful of, like, zombies videos, though, like, here on the channel. I remember in Black Ops 3, we had, like, a community contract with, like, the, the little gumball things, uh, what, what were they called? I don't even know. I remember like a community contract in Black Ops 3 having to do with zombies and I played a lot of that and like also recorded some videos on zombies. It was pretty cool. Also for like the hardcore zombies fans, do you guys like Black Ops Cold War zombies? I feel like I don't even know the generalized opinion about Cold War zombies because I'm not really that into like the zombies community. Let me know in the comment section, do you guys even like you know, Black Ops Cold War zombies at all. all right, so we're gonna unlock this door. I guess we'll just do this reactor over here first. All right, let me knife you, and that is enough. All right, perfect. So we're gonna lock this door, and then the reactor is right down here, and we need 500 to power the freaking source. Uh, the amount of money I, I gotta spend here. Well, uh, come on, people. Let me know in the comment section your guys' favorite zombies map in any Call of Duty game. I would love to know. Put on the power source, and then we just need to kill zombies, I think, buy this thing to, like, charge it up, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Charge it. Charge it. Come on. Come on. Yep. Kill you. Kill you. Everything's good. Everything's... Hey. 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 All right. It's almost done. It's almost done. Boom. That's done. This reactor complete. Boom. There we go. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. All right. There we go. All right. Uh, that's the next round. So we just got to turn on this uh, this generator right here. Stop hitting it. Stop hitting it. All right. Perfect. Carpenter. Nope. Nope. Dude, get over here. Okay. Perfect. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. All right. We're done. We're good. We're good. All right. Perfect. That was... um. That was a little stressful, I'm not gonna lie, but we're good. Also today, uh, I think they dropped the brand new Venom trailer uh, having to do with Carnage. The first Venom movie I thought was really, really good, and I love Carnage, so I'm excited for this brand new Venom movie. I think it's dropping in, like, September. Yeah, the trailer looked awesome to me. I'm really excited to see what Carnage and Venom are gonna do. Ah, uh, man, that's gonna be insane. Just knife you, turn on this, and we're good to go. But I'm honestly just really excited to unlock the Dark Ether camo, and that's why I'm kind of doing this series a little bit differently than, like, Dark Matter Ultra, in the sense that I'm not uploading an episode on each individual weapon just for zombies. I don't know why. I just feel like that really wouldn't make a lot of sense and it would kind of just draw out the series and I kind of just want to unlock this camo already. All right, chill on me. Oh my, okay. All right. I'm just excited to unlock Dark Ether, so I'm just gonna do like the entire category in one episode, essentially. Ah, uh, here we go. We got the mimic. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh my god. I probably should pack a punch, but whatever. Screw it. Come on, zombies. Come on, people. Let's kill these zombies first. So we just need two of the mimics or whatever. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Chill on me. All right. 
right, I guess we'll do like a little train here. I guess that makes sense. I want this mimic to go away, man. There we go. All right, perfect. Now we just need one more of the elite zombies, I think, and then we should be good. Um, okay, perfect. All right, so we pack a punch now, so I'm ready for the next, uh... The next elite. We just need one more, literally. We're gonna get Jug real quick, just to be sure. Oh, there we go. All right, perfect. Come here, Papa. Come here, Papa. Here we go. Perfect. All right, that should be it, right? Yes, there we go. Plague Diamond is unlocked. Oof, all right, that wasn't that bad, man. That wasn't that bad. Came pretty quick, and uh, yeah, all the, uh, the assault rifles are now Plague Diamond. That's what's up. Uh, we did it. We did it. Nah, I don't, I don't want to... I just want to bleed out. But yeah, that's Plague Diamond of Star Rifles. Now we're going to probably jump into some multiplayer. I'll make a class it up, drop a nuke, hopefully. That's my first ever Plague Diamond uh, anything in this game. So that that's pretty damn cool. This is an historical moment here for the channel. As you guys can see, there is Plague Diamond unlocked for all of the assault rifles. On this new AK-47, it looks beautiful when it goes to like the purple forms. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. Wait, how does a uh, Plague Diamond look with this one? Oh my God. Wait, this might be the variant we need to use in, in, in game, man. Got Plague Diamond for the QBZ looking absolutely amazing. And there it is for the FFAR. I love how the green still shows on this variant. That is Amazing. All right, let's hop into some multiplayer. Check out Plague Diamond, and uh, hopefully we can drop a nuke. They all on the right side? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys are here. Thank you. This is the game right here. Got him. Wait. Oh, my God. I Get inside. I know this camo has been out literally since, like, the game has been released, guys. So, I know it's been out for a while. I'm sure most of you guys have Plague Diamond. But you know what? This is my first time unlocking it. And I got to flex it a little bit, all right? Let me be. Let me flex this camo a little bit because I finally have it. And you know what? I just want to show it off a bit, all right? And it looks amazing on the, uh, the dragon variant, too. So, oh, he is. Wait, that was crazy. That dude was just chilling up top. Are they going to spawn middle? I think so. Whoa, he threw a molly up here. What a savage. I got him. Okay, we got the war machine. But this week, guys, we have a ton of updates for Black Ops Cold War. We're going to be getting a brand new 12v12 mosh pit playlist, but the 12v12 is going to be played on 6v6 maps. So, Nuketown is going to be 12v12 sometime this week, and I am so excited for that, man. That is going to be absolute carnage, and I just can't even imagine the gameplays you'll be able to drop with 12v12 in Nuketown. So, can't wait. We're also going to be getting, like, a ton of new bundles this week as well, and... Just some other things, man. So this week should be pretty lit for Black Ops Cold War. And also, they announced uh, today that the mid-season update for Black Ops Cold War Season 3 is going to be May 20th. And that's when we'll get the fully automatic pistol and I think the MVP baseball bat and stuff like that. So that should be pretty awesome. This guy went up top. He did. There we go. So yeah, May 20th is the mid-season update for Black Ops Cold War. This guy's in the back. This guy's right here. Got him. Okay, we're on a nice little 23. I like where this is going. Yep. So in the middle. Okay, we're on 24. I want to peek that window, but I also don't want to get sniped. So that's going to be a little bit interesting. But spawns are crazy on Nuketown regardless. So how is 12v12 going to work on this map? Oh, I almost died. Okay, that's our okay, that's our chopper. That's our chopper. That's good. That's good. We needed this chopper. Middle. Yep, someone's middle. No. Wow. I hate these little engagements where they're stuck in the house, but they're not moving. Come on. There we go. 26. Kind of want to watch behind us, though. Just in case. Wait, someone did spawn behind us. Yep, they're gonna spawn behind us now. Wait, he's upstairs, he's upstairs. This dude is upstairs. There we go, 28. I think this guy's down below. This guy was down below. There we go, there's the nuke. Oh my god. That was so stressful for literally no reason. And we had a chopper up, but I literally felt like the chopper was like messing up with the spawns and messing up with how they were playing. So I feel like my teammate's chopper actually hurt us in the end, literally. Is this guy up top? Yeah, he is. Okay, there we go. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have Dark Matter Ultra, Dark Ether, Plague Diamond, anything like that, man. Uh, but this is the start of the Dark Ether series. Uh, first weapons, Plague Diamond with the assault rifles. This week is gonna be crazy, like I said. Brand new bundles, new playlists. May 20th is Season 3 uh, Reloaded, which is the mid-season update. So a lot of cool things are dropping for Black Ops Cold War soon. Subscribe if you guys are brand new. If you guys are excited? Let me know, and I'll see you guys next time.